Uh, what do we know so far about this Ping An push and what are the expectations ahead of this meeting? Well, the expectations are very interesting because uh, this is the first time, I think, since about 2019 that the top brass at HSBC have been able to meet face-to-face -face with a base of Hong Kong retail investors here. And there seems to be a bit of a growing uh, tide swell, if you will, or, or growing momentum uh, behind the scenes for this uh, push by Ping On Insurance, which is the largest uh, single shareholder of HSBC, with a little more than 8% share of HSBC, to potentially spin off the Asian business of HSBC and then list separately here in Hong Kong, essentially to tap into the fastest growing part of the business. As you said, we do have a chart that shows the percentage of profit coming from the Asia Pacific, in, in particular Hong Kong and China, uh, nearing about 50% of that business. So uh, there's increasing shareholder movements, including by Ken Loy of the Hong Kong Investor and Entrepreneur Institute, calling or backing the ping on push. And uh, the CFO of HSBC, Ewan Stevenson, acknowledged they've been in talks. This is what Stevenson had to say to Bloomberg Television yesterday after the uh, second quarter results. We're definitely talking to Ping An and continue to talk with them. Um, you know, they've, they've raised, as you would expect, with any major shareholder raising issues with us. We're taking it seriously. We haven't completed our work, but based on what we can see today, it's very, very hard to find any value case that we could put in front of shareholders. And we'll have to see what the Hong Kong retail investor base uh, has to say uh, later today and if they're getting back behind uh, that push. Ken Loy, I mentioned to him, uh, he's an activist investor at HSBC. He was behind a 2020 push to counter HSBC's scrapping of their dividend. Uh, that effort failed, but he did garner about 3,000 investors to back that move. He's trying to re-harness that enthusiasm uh, for this push to uh, back the ping on push for a spin-off. He says that spin-off would make it easier for HSBC, of course, now domiciled and headquartered in London, uh, to navigate the rising tension between China and the West. Guys? Shareholders still must be quite happy with second quarter numbers, especially with dividends now being restored. Yeah, so as of, uh, what, next year, 2023, they'll return uh, to quarterly dividends. That's good news. I mean, the stock was up uh, the most in about 18 months, so a year and a half. The stock rose yesterday uh, on the back of these results that came out midday on Monday, and they were a very good set of numbers, essentially uh, rising interest rates and also currency trading gains. Uh, lifted uh, adjusted pre-tax profit by 13% to $5.97 billion U.S. dollars in the second quarter. The consensus estimate for, for was for about a billion U.S. dollars less than that, 4.96 billion. Noel Quinn, the CEO, uh, he's uh, confident in achieving return on tangible equity of at least 12 percent from 2023 onwards. That is a 2 percent increase on those returns, promised returns uh, that uh, they gave just back in April in that guidance. So yeah, good set of results.